ओके गुड इवनिंग सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू वेरी सिंपली हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर द पी एल सी इन यूनिटी प्रो एंड दे आर वी कॉन्फिगर्ड a digital input and digital output card and simple one code also written in structured text how to just initiate with the plc programming so today we will be learning the hardware connections because this will be used at site so the signal it will come from the user side as well as from the uh, like feedback and again it will go to uh some command will go to field actuators to actuate it so today we we are going to learn that the connections okay so <coughs> the card which i have used there that is this card that card is uh this digital input card is tsx dey 32 d2k there will be total 32 input so it will be in the top slot it will be 16 and in the down slot it will be 16 but the the connections are more or less identicals okay so say suppose here in the input we want to take some push button or some discrete uh, contacts or the discrete sensor output from the field like limit switch and all these things so those connection how to do i will show that okay so this is that is the uh, connections so here what i will do this portion this portion i will delete it okay so first of all what what is to be done say i want to connect one push button so first you have to take one smps very good quality smps and that fuse in in that smps so the positive terminal the positive 24 this is 24 volt logic okay entire things is 24 volt dc 24 volt dc logic okay so the positive terminal the 24 volt dc plus it should be connected in pin number sorry Oof. i don't know why this circuit so this will be connected between uh, pin number 17 and 19 and the Minus twenty four volt. Then is the negative terminal of the SMPs. It will be connected to eighteen and twenty. And in between, before connecting the positive terminal to seventeen and nineteen, there will be fuse. This fuse rating should be not more than five hundred milliamp. Okay. This is given by the manufacturer. You can see. see 0.5 amperes quick blow fuse so that you have to use okay so now say i am connecting one push button so if i press that push button so the my uh, say the input one will be high so simply the push button one terminal you connect with that 24 volt dc and another terminal you connect to input one so when you are pressing this push button when you will be pressing this push button this contact will be closed and the 24 volt will go to input 1 and it will become true or high whatever may be on the other hand suppose i am going to i am going to take feedback from the field so that time in my opinion the interposing relay should be used say this is my interposing relay okay and this is my interposing relay coil supply and here this is the contact okay so this contact one terminal you connect with 24 volt dc and 
another terminal you connect to pin number 2 now say there is a limit switch in hoisting application so this is the limit switch you can say this is the limit switch so here in the field side SMPS here you connect 24 volt DC and here you connect the negative terminal so now once the limit reaches say it is hoisting so in the top limit reach so this will be close this will be close means this relay will be relay coil will be energized and once the relay coil is energized the contact the normally open contact of the relay interposing relay will be toggled and that time through this path the 24 volt will be going to input number 2 and it will become true similarly for normally close contact also you can do all these things so in my opinion when you will be it, you will be using the when you will be using the input that means say there is a console it is not coming from the field side it is from the user side it is very near so you use simple this kind of connection interposing relay is not required but when it is coming from the field always better to use interposing relay to get some interruption interference all these things that is in my opinion otherwise you can directly wire also because inside that card before going to the controller there will be uh, definitely a very good isolation but in my opinion i used to do when the field side feedbacks are coming i always used to connect it through interposing relay so this is a very simple thing for the uh, input card that is tsx dey32 d2k okay now i am coming to the output card the digital output card that is tsx dsy 32 t2k okay so this is also 32 uh, output and it is more or less the connections are same as uh, uh, input card but still i will be explaining okay so so this side what i will do so this side i will be i will be deleting this side okay or no issue i am not deleting so this is the relay this is the output relay okay so the output relay what we will do so here you see the connection is slightly opposite so the polarity rather than the input this polarity is changed okay so the it is like this okay and the positive terminal in say there are two relays two output relay okay so this is the positive terminal so both the positive terminal say there are 16 relays so all the positive terminals are to be shorted and that will be connected here and the negative terminal of each relay it will be given to this input okay and this is input 2 like that okay and the contact of this each relay say it will be actuating one solenoid okay so for that solenoid you use separate supply so this is plus and this is your solenoid coil and this is minus so what will happen when this when this say digital output zero it will become true that means this is this positive voltage it will go through this energize the coil 
and come through this if this is happened then this this relay will actuate if this relay will actuate in turn this contact will become close and this solenoid will actuate okay and so on so this is the simple connection for digital output card in digital output always we should use some relay because the contact rating it may vary application to application so if if the solenoid current is say 100 milliampere so accordingly you can decide but if this is this this uh, output is going to control some power contactor so that rating may be 3 ampere so you should select that contact rating as per that okay so this is the simple connection of digital input and output card which is which i have explained already in uh, <coughs> in the first lecture and when we will be wiring these things in practical case so it should be like that so hope this will be useful and if you have if you have any query you can contact me through my contact details in the description you are always welcome if this is helpful to you i will be happy Thank you so much.